Hello everybody, my name is Elizabeth Taylor and I work at TPAS Gromery. Today we have a guest speaker from Citizens Advice to talk to us about a new project that they have launched in September. The projects with tenants in the private rental sector who are struggling with their finances as a result of the pandemic. So here today we have Beth Ann Hunt and it, she has worked at Citizens Advice for over three and a half years and during that time she's worked on the consumer service, the generalist service, and most recently has helped set up the, the single advice fund remote debt service during this pandemic. Following the success of this service, Bethan was actually selected to help promote and market the citizens advice PRS project. Um, and she'll be managing a team of trained specialists, debt case workers and generalists to help the private rental sector tenants with their concerns. So welcome Bethan. Thanks very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming along. <laughs> We've had some digital struggles, but it's the new era. <laughs> um, so we're going to ask you a couple of questions. Should we just go straight in? Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Can you tell us about this new service and how it will benefit PRS tenants? So the PRS project um, is the private rented sector project, um, which uh, ultimately is funded by the Welsh Government um, and the reason for it is just if anybody in the private rented sector, um, if they're struggling with any debts that they're having at the moment, this could be either that they've been struggling for quite some time or even if they find themselves in debt for the first time ever or struggling with any sort of financial um, rent issues, um, that we'd be able to help them on this service. Um, People shouldn't be ashamed um, of debt um, and I think it's a good thing that this service will help to hopefully reach out to those tenants who are finding themselves in this position for the first time ever um, and that we will be there from Monday to Friday nine to five um, and with friendly generalists uh, are going to be answering the calls and then hopefully then if they are wanting to have appointments then that will lead on to uh, specialist stat case workers then as well who will look into it in more detail and in fine and detail about their issues um, so it's just basically just to highlight um, that at the moment with this pandemic um, a lot of people are seeing themselves in positions they've they may not have been in before um, mm. and so i think it's vital that this service is um, being promoted and marketed in such a way that we are out to everybody basically. So it's not just people who have just experienced debt now during the pandemic, it's any time? No, exactly. I think it's it's anybody who of course is struggling, whether they're you know close to the, the idea of potentially becoming uh, homeless or being evicted in any which way, um, of course we'll help them as much as possible and depending on the priority of the urgency as well. Um, and we've got, we, we can then refer them to us, a housing specialists as well. But our project is solely to sort of look into the debt aspect of it. Um, so it's, it's really vital that we can, as soon as they can get in contact with us, the better then for themselves. And we, we can just, we can start and um, look into it and see how it goes then. Right. I think with the service though as well, it is with tenants. Um, but of course, landlords are able to call in but it's just more for a sort of uh, general advice. Um, we don't necessarily offer landlord specialist advice, so they probably have to speak to Rent Smart Wales for that. Um, but yeah, anybody is anybody who's struggling at the moment, fears for um, fears for the potential of rent arrears, even get in contact with us, and we can we can certainly help. Fab, and we'll obviously add in all those details of the project at the end. So, um. How come the service was set up then? So what were the actual drivers for the service? So the drive, I believe, was from Welsh Government. The reason for it being is that um, due to, of course, the pandemic more than anything, that uh, we are noticing that people are for the first time in such a position that they've, uh, they've never been in before due to either becoming furloughed, be, uh, being made redundant, um, a breakup in relations, um, all, all types of things really that have been highlighted and sort of um, pinpointed by this, this uh, pandemic. Um, and ultimately then with, with the idea of them uh, becoming, with 
with homelessness and people becoming evicted um it's crucial for the welsh government to sort of try and end homelessness as much as as, as we can um although of course we've got the six month um extension on uh, eviction notices however it comes to a point where that's from six today months, actually from, from today, today. Yeah. there you go yeah exactly um but you know that six months can be up for some people and i think that it's it's the sooner the better that people get in contact with us or in any situation that they find themselves in get in contact with us and we can try and see what best fit then wow um, and how do people actually know about the service? Obviously, we're doing this this video yes. today and we'll yes. promote it. Yes. But how will people be referred if, if they don't know about the service? Yeah, so I've helped out with the, the marketing and campaigns part of it, but I'm also managing the team as well. So it's nice to get a full hands on um, with the project itself. Um, but we've been sending out to yourselves. We've been sending it out to Rent Smart Wales. Um, we've also sent it out to local um, letting agencies across um, across Wales, and not only um, in all different regions as well. Uh, we've been speaking to citizens' advice local offices, um, just so that we, you know, everybody knows who we are um, and what the service is. Um, the good thing is about the service is if, of course, that it is a bit busy, that it does then get transferred onto the citizens' advice ad, advice link uh, telephone number. So no so long they, waiting times. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So at least then they're going to be um, answered to as well, and potentially then from advice link they'll still be referred to us, so there won't be a, a case of anybody missing out. That's great. Um, and what kind of things are you hearing on the calls? At the moment, I think it's definitely been a lot of people that are concerned that they find themselves in this position for the first time. And, um, you know, with, with, rent, with private renters, they, they are used to being able to budget, um, to be able to pay for their rent. So, of course, to find themselves in this situation before something's taken out of their hands it, it it's you know it's concerning for them and it is it is a big issue and it's big frustration and worry as well so i think we are finding a lot new um a lot of people that are in this position for the first time ever but it's still again not to say that those that are struggling and have been for a while um aren't welcome um so it's definitely that's what we're noticing at the moment do you have any examples specifically of people that you might have helped facing this hardship? Uh, yeah, without going into too much detail because of data breach for the client as well, uh, data protection. I think that we did have a client, uh, we've had a few actually that have called towards the end of the um, of the week. So sort of uh, half four when we, you know, the, the lines are five o'clock um, and that they're concerned about being evicted. Um, and the good thing is that we were able to um, approach it in an urgent way um, and deal with it as, as urgent as possible with the caseworker being uh, warm transferred to. So that's a good thing. It doesn't necessarily have to be an appointment. If it okay. can't wait, it can be warm transferred to a debt caseworker directly. And they, they dealt with it as much as possible. How the would they deal with it then? How would the debt caseworker actually deal with that situation when somebody was scared of eviction? Yeah, so what would happen is that we'd go through a lot of the information, a lot of debt assessment, so that would mean ex uh, explaining to us exactly where your your money, your outgoings are going, um, and if there's any ways that we can help them as a quick, quick win as well, potentially, straight away. But ultimately, I think with, uh, with what happened with the debt caseworkers, that they were able to get in contact with uh, other agencies and organisations around us, because we do have quite a close relationship with other organisations that can help and local authorities like the Housing Association then as well, um, to look to see if there's anything that can, can, can help them on the weekend, um, if, not any, if there's anything that can be prevented sooner um and then we just go from there then depending on what sort of section they've received as well of course okay okay great and what tends to happen with all this information so you collate all this information from tenants calling up what happens with all that information like how is it impacting on tenants yeah so i think the good thing is that when clients are caught sorry when patients are, when tenants are calling um the good thing is that 
uh, we are asking for their consent um, and we are advising them that they are uh, they uh, it may be uh, shared to third parties and third third organizations and the reason why we do that is that we want to make sure that we can capture as much data as possible so if an event that there seems to be an on, ongoing issue in that region or in that area that we can then transfer it or refer it to the uh, our um, research and campaigns team who could then have a build up of all the information and all the data that we've got um, to then potentially pass it on to the Welsh Government explaining that we need more help in this yeah. direction or in other directions. So I think it's not only is it vital for the tenant to call in, but of course it could be helping somebody else who's in that same position. So I think yeah. it's really good that people are um, getting in contact with us. No, I think it's a really great service and really important at this time, people struggling. Yeah. You know, I've heard from our friends and things like people are struggling at a time and people who have never really struggled before, like you said. So it's quite a shock for everybody. So it's really mm -hmm. great that the Welsh Government have funded this and that you've got it all up and running. Yes. So, yeah. So thank you for talking to us about that. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm. um, I will put all of the information um, about the project with this video. So the numbers, etc. I would really encourage you to share it. Um, with as many people as possible and get it out there so people know that there is support. Yes, please. Thank you so much, <laughs> Beth Ann, for Thanks very us. much. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's been great to meet you and I really appreciate your time. Thank um, you. And I'm sure we'll be in touch again soon. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.